Hi, this is Deborah Sable Thornbrew, and I'm going to demonstrate how to work with Master Slides in PowerPoint 2013, and then how to create a template slide file after that. On my screen, I, you see a slideshow that I created based on a template I found online. And as you see, I'm going to click through some of the slides the thumbnails on the left and you can see that there's no real information in here. These are just slides with um, basic information or rather no information but examples of how certain graphics and things can look inside of it. So I'm going to create a master slide change in here. I'm going to change the master slide so that all the slides will reflect those changes at once and then I'm going to create a template file so I can reuse this certain style and design every time and make sure that it's consistent from now on so that I don't have to keep manually changing it each time I create it. So right now what I want to do is um, go to my master slide view. So I'm going to click the view tab up here and over here is the master views group and I'm going to click slide master. When you look at the slide master you're kind of looking at the framework or canvas upon which the whole design is set set up. And if you look at the thumbnails on the left hand side, notice that when I roll my mouse and just hover it over one of these thumbnails, a little tip comes out that tells you which slides in this slideshow are using that particular layout and design. For example, this one says used by no slides. This particular layout is not being used but this one up here is being used by slides 2 and 3. This one is being used by slides 8 through 12. And notice too that the slide master at the top of the screen has a red borderline around it which means that's the one I'm looking at in my main screen on the right. But also notice this scroll bar here. Notice that there's room at the top so if I click and drag this up it will bring into view the real master slide which is the grand master slide up here. All these other ones are other slide masters but they are underneath the main grand master slide. So any changes I make to this master slide, the, the top one, will be reflected throughout all the rest of the layouts and every slide in, this, in any slideshow I build off of this. So um, to make a really huge example. I'm going to change the background style. You can see the background is green and blue and it has all these pretty colors and, and things in it. So I'm going to make a change to the background style. Click background style up here and maybe I want it to look like this. So I'm going to choose this one and then all of the thumbnails, all of the other layouts and submaster slides got changed. Well, not that one down there, that's different, but up here all of these got changed. And so if I click close master view at this point, notice that all of the slides in this slideshow now reflect that change I made to the master slide. Okay, I'm going to go back to the master slide, click view slide masters, scroll back up to the top, go to the grand master, the big master slide, and I'm going to make a change to the font styles here in the master title style. So I'm going to click and drag to select the text up here. I'm going to make some very obvious changes to it. Um, not that I would keep these changes really, but I'm going to do that uh, just to demonstrate what you can do. So I'm going to click and drag that. Over here under drawing tools, click format and in the word art styles, this is word art by the way, which is a fancy title tool you can use, and I'm going to change the text fill to white and the text outline to bright red, and I'm going to change this text style to the first layer of bulleting, change that also to something brilliant and bright like yellow just to make my point and maybe the second level one, I will change that to blue. Okay, so now I've made these changes. If I close the master view, you can, and I click through my presentation, notice the master, the uh, titles uh, at the top of each slide reflect that change. They now are white with a red outline, and in the bulleted lists, there's the yellow and there's the blue that I selected. So 
this works throughout the slideshow because I applied those to the master slide. So again, you would click View, click over here under Master Views, go to your Slide Master, and remember to scroll up so that you can see the real master slide, not just the, the layouts that are being used. Okay, I'm going to close the master view, and let's say that now that I'm, I've made all these design changes to this particular slideshow, I now want to save it as a template. Okay, so what I'm going to do is start to save it. I'm going to click File, I'm going to click Save As, I'm going to choose the folder where it's going to be saved as. And notice that in the file name here, it has the default, which is title of presentation. And then it has the file extension, which is PPTX, which means a standard PowerPoint slideshow. Well, I don't want that. I want this to be a template. So if I just save it now as a regular PowerPoint slideshow, it's not going to be a template. I won't be able to reuse it very easily in the future. So, I'm, I mean, I could, but having it as a template makes it a lot, a lot better. You'll see in just a minute why that is. So I'm going to change the file type or the Save As Type here. I'm going to change that, click that menu, and go up here to the PowerPoint template choice which is P-O-T-X, not P-P-T-X. So I'm going to click P-O-T-X, okay, and I'm going to give this uh, template a name instead of title of presentation. I'm just going to say Deborah Template 1. And then when I save it, it's going to save this is a, in a special location where you can find it again easily. So I'm going to click Save. Okay, and look at my title slide up here, Deborah Template 1.potx. So now what I'm going to do is start a whole new, well, I'm going to close this presentation, and then I'm going to start a whole new one, start a brand new one. Well, I should start it from the File tab, that's where all the templates are. So I, again, I made the mistake of just starting a new one from blank, but instead I'm going to click File, and I'm going to click New. This is where you go to find the templates. So I'm going to click File and New, and the default here under the New screen is to offer you different templates that are built in. These are featured templates that you can find online or that PowerPoint software automatically has ready for you to use. But I want to locate the template I made myself, and it's here under the Custom link. So I'm going to click Custom, and I'm going to go into Custom Office Templates. Over here is Document Themes. I don't want documents. I want templates, Custom Office Templates. So I'm going to click that, and there it is. And if I build any additional custom templates that I make myself, they will all list, be listed here. So now, if I click this, it gives me a choice of looking through the different style, the different uh, layouts of this particular template to see if I like it, or I, you know, just as a preview. But I'm going to click Create. So now I'm going to create it. And here it is. There is my template file that has built a presentation for me. If you look up here at the top, it says Presentation 4, because this is the fourth one I've, I've worked with today. It does not say template. It doesn't have the name Deborah Template 1 up there. What this is is a fresh, brand new PowerPoint presentation built off of that template, and the template is now put away. So I can make this into anything I want. I can change it. I can do whatever I want. And any time I want that template again, I go to File, I click New, I click Custom, go into Custom Office Templates, and there it is. So that's probably not something you're going to use a lot, depending on what your situation is. Let me go back here. But if you work for a company or someplace that requires PowerPoint presentations to look a certain way in all of the ones that you do for them, then using templates is a really good idea.